friends. I hope that you are well. Welcome to Trentino in Italy. We arrived here yesterday and the reason that I have come to Trentino, never been to this region before, it's like northern Italy, so kind of up in the mountains. This weekend is the Traverse Conference. So Traverse run an annual conference for travel bloggers, vloggers, influencers and people in the travel industry. And I went to it a couple of years ago and to attend and it was so useful there's just so many workshops and really helps you out if you're looking for a career in this industry and this year I'm actually speaking at it I am doing a talk on how to get started with travel vlogging and how to find your niche how to find your creativity and things like this I'm so nervous for the talk, but I'm really excited. I feel like I have so much to say on the topic. But we've arrived a little bit early because what Traverse also do is they run events throughout the week leading up to the conference. So earlier on today, we went to the Ponte Alta Gorge. I think that was what it was called. It was beautiful and there was this waterfall going through this gorge, like a man-made sort of system, but like insane. The pressure the power of the water coming through was incredible and right now uh, we have come to a kind of farm and we're going horse riding in the mountains there is just mountains surrounding everywhere here it's absolutely stunning I haven't been horse riding in ages so this will be interesting I'm going to take you along with me for the rest of the few days that I'm here in Trento and then there's going to be another video of what we do after the conference but you'll hear about that later on well done. Uh, the on hers as well. Velvet. Velvet. Hey Velvet. How's it going? Alright, I'm on Velvet. Hey. I haven't been horse riding in so long. Shoes off. Hey, you're just Is he? Oh, I'm sorry. Velvet. What are you like? Is it a he or a she? She. She. It's very relaxing, isn't it? This region's very famous for its wineries and vineyards. Oh, but just keeps farting. <laughs> like loud ones as well. I'm like, <laughs> gassy little velvet. That's my girl. There we go. Well done, Velvet, thank you. Of course I had the farting horse, of course I did. Good morning, everybody. Fast forwarding a few days. Look at this view. It's so, so beautiful. I literally spent the whole day here yesterday working on my presentation, getting quite a little bit stressed just because, I don't know, I don't know why I was getting stressed. I guess I was just kind of nervous and getting frustrated that I couldn't quite get like my words out when I was practicing, but it's a new day. Um, the presentation is today, it's this afternoon. I'm gonna try and do all the things I can today to alleviate the nerves. I feel like I'm getting quite nervous and I don't like that. So I'm in my running gear, I'm going for a run because I think that'll just like really boost my endorphins, but also kind of get my heart pumping maybe a bit out of my system. I don't know if that's logical or not, but I feel like it is in my head. So I'm gonna go for a run and do some like butt exercises and whatnot, make me feel good. And then I'm gonna shower and have breakfast and everything. I'm not gonna have coffee today because coffee has been a factor for me in the past for getting anxiety and stuff. And I guess because I'm nervous about the talk, it's those kind of anxious feelings being brought up. So I'm not gonna have any coffee today, which kind of kills me. But no, I do think that it's the right thing to do. And then I'm gonna go sign in with the Traverse events later on and just go see the venue and everything. And then I think I'll just come back here for a bit, practice my talk, and then it'll be the real deal. I guess I can't practice too much because otherwise I'll just be overthinking it. I think that's, I that's why I've been stressed. I've been overthinking everything, which is so stupid. But the opening party was last night and it was great to see everyone. There was like 400 people there in this massive, it was like an underground cave. It was so cool. Traverse always do 
the most epic parties and events and it's just so nice to see everyone I did not stay out late a lot of the people like went out afterwards and I was like nah I'm, I'm being good today I'm really looking forward to today though because there's a whole day of speakers it's not just about me and so I can go see all the other travel bloggers and vloggers and really get to know them and then there's an award ceremony tonight which should be interesting Shu and I are just on our way down to Piazza Duomo which is where we are registering for the event we should have registered this morning but we didn't uh, but we're just going through what we both need to do because my talk is this afternoon shoes yeah. is tomorrow 11 tom tomorrow 11 15 so mm -hmm. she's gonna put her presentation or the finishing touches to her presentation yeah. together today and i'm like really trying to keep my nerves at bay and i yeah. think i'm yeah. doing all right you're doing a good job yeah me too yeah i would well, you know what my tactic's gonna be today what? is to not tell anyone that i'm nervous because that's what i kept doing yesterday and i think it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy like when you think if you're feeling something yeah. and you keep saying it you're gonna feel more of it i'm gonna tell everyone that i'm feeling super confident today yeah exactly. i'll say i don't i'll say i don't know what came over me but i feel amazing yeah. i had a good sleep and i feel amazing yeah yeah even if i am not feeling like that i'm gonna do fake that it. yeah fake it till you make it it's so true that's though. like a prophecy that i i always say yeah, yeah. But I don't listen to my own advice, but I should. It is true. Like, you know when you're having a bad day and you make yourself smile? Yeah. You do feel better? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's well, so it's true. A different mindset. Okay, I'm going into I'm feeling really confident, guys. Yes, you are. Really, really <laughs> confident. <laughs> no nerves at all. Gonna have a great day. Look how beautiful this is. We have made it to Piazza Duomo. 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 And we have found the registration. This is Anastasia who went to Traverse, also, also a good friend. This is Michael, who's um, one of the co-founders of Traverse. This is my bag of goodies. Oh, I have wine in there. Fantastic. That's all I need. So this is a talk about like blogging whilst having a full-time job. They got free coffee here and I've, I've told myself I'm not having any, so yeah. This is Nick! Not writing my talk. <laughs> oh yeah, not at all, not at all. What's your talk on? Stuff. Uh, no, I'm talking about how to find more campaigns, get more work, how to position yourself. Sick. You feeling confident? Yeah. Nick is always confident. He talks at all the Traverse events and like the trips and everything like that. So he's been giving me some tips on how to make my talk better. I think what you mean to say is I talk too much. That's what she's really saying. But <laughs> then you talk a lot too. We're both in this. So my, my strategy today is I'm just going to tell people I'm really confident. That's a good strategy. You what you it. say goes internally. Yeah. So you be better. Yeah. There we go. This is Tom Archer and he's got a talk in about 45 minutes. Uh, Something like that? 25 minutes. 25 minutes and he hasn't set up prepared, yet. What's the talk on? Editing epic photos, how to get kind of more out of your editing to make your landscape like photos more epic. You're the only talk that I'm going to be attending before my own. Oh, so, pressure. Yeah, no, I, I want to see how you do it and get some uh, inspiration. So I hope you're good. Oh, no pressure, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> So this is the venue for more of the talks. Show us in, Anastasia. This is the room I'm going to be speaking in later. So we're just in between sessions right now. And I'm just kind of scouting it out to make sure I'm okay with it. I guess I would be at the front here. Very pretty presentation. Mine does not look like this. Yes. Nobody will know how much my hands are shaking. Shu and Nick are helping me set up. Amazing. I'm feeling excited. And do any of you recognize this music? It's a copyright free track, which I always use in my vlogs. I don't have access to the internet, so I can't put any Spotify music on. And so the only like iTunes that I have on my computer is my copyright free music. So people can enjoy that as they enter the room. Lovely. Backpacking bananas. Find your niche. How do you know what you're going to make videos about? 
So the first thing that you're going to want to think about is your audience. Who's going to be watching your videos? Are they a backpacker or are they like luxury? Do they have a lot of money or have they just got out of university and they don't really know what they're doing? You know your audience and purpose, you are going to actually want to find your niche. And the way I like to, this is the biggest mistake I see with so many travel vloggers. They just pick up a camera and they start filming their day, uh, whatever it is, or they'll get a few shots and then they'll bring in the editing and they're like, oh, I don't know what to do with this, like what, what's going on here, this doesn't mean anything. My biggest tip for you, if you take anything away from today, is that you must always have a video idea in mind before you start filming. And you can think about any of these factors. I did it. I'm so pleased with how it went. It's so funny because after you start talking for a little bit of time, the nerves just tend to just go away. So I was like nervous and shaky for the first, I think, five minutes, but I kind of just relaxed and eased into it. And the audience was so, so nice. It was a really nice environment to be in. And I'm stoked. And now I can really enjoy the rest of my weekend without having to feel like there's a pressure on me. Um, and tonight there is the awards evening for Traverse. I forgot to enter myself to be in the running for a nomination, let alone an award. Um, so I'm just going to be there supporting my friends this evening. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. She is getting suited and booted with her Britney mic. You are. Oh god, <laughs> here she goes. <laughs> it is the second day of the first conference, oh, but of the actual conference with like the workshops and the speakers and everything. The party was very good last night. I will not go into details, uh, but I'm a little bit hungover this morning. And I've come to uh, the Teatro Social, I think is what it's called, for Shoes Talk. She won an award last night. She did so well. And now she's getting fitted with her Britney. Yeah, everyone, thank you so much for making the time to come here today. I'm looking ahead to so long for last night. Today we're going to talk all about food and travel videos and how to Delicious food, food videos. So I hope you guys got a lot of fun. Had a snack, a good breakfast, because it's a lot of food content coming up. Had a nap and then went to Nick's talk, which was absolutely fantastic he talks all about all things business and is such a good speaker I'm so grateful that I had Nick help me with my talk earlier on this week because yes he is fantastic and now we are in the social theatre Shu and I front row seats it's the closing panel the very last session for Traverse 2019 which is sad it's been a very fun weekend, but apparently everyone's going out again tonight. I think I'll take it easy. Hello everybody, the conference is now unfortunately over, but what a weekend that was. I'm so proud of myself for like getting over my nerves and actually delivering my talk the way I wanted to. I still think I have a lot of practice and a long way to go and I'm gonna be doing another talk at the next Traverse event uh, called Borderless Live, which is gonna be in London. I'm super excited about that. And please sign up, come along if you are interested at all in travel blogging or travel vlogging in the future. You wanna know more about it, you wanna meet people in the industry and just get involved in the community, then I definitely recommend coming along. I'll link it down below, that is not sponsored. Now I'm not leaving Italy just yet, I'm going to be exploring around the Dolomites with a group from the conference. Visit Trentino had been fantastic and they're sending us on a super adventurous trip which I've kind of already started but you're going to see that in the next vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!